Welcome back. We're back down here at the historic Hampton Springs in Perry, Florida. Some of you that watched some of my earlier videos where we had hiked down some of the river banks may remember we come across an old abandoned crab house that was across the river. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to slip down to that crab house and check it out and let's see what's there. I don't expect to find a whole lot from the angle we can see it across the river. It looked like most of it was collapsing, but we're going to see what is there today. So if you want to go with me, come on, let's take a little trip. I'm guessing this door may have been a walk-in cooler. If you look at the hands top and where the lights would have been and the way the door frame is. That's a guess. Uh, and then there's some kind of concrete basin down there. Maybe where the ice was being produced, not sure. Get over to you. Give you a pan of the front while we're out here. Now here where we come around the side of the building, I'm assuming this room must have been screened. 
You see a doorway entrance. And the door is laying on the ground. There's one of the hinges. You can see this building had it. This is one window, the only window I found still in it. Old roll out style windows. And on this side of the building, you can see the screen. It used to be a screen room of some sort. as bad as I had expected. I'd done a little research since I found that. I'd heard about it over the years. I can't really find anything on it. Uh, I'd hope to see maybe some old paperwork or something hanging inside on the wall, but it was well beyond that. As you've seen, most of the roof was laying in the floor. It was really, really bad shape. Don't really know how old it is, but you could tell where the old highway had been running before. So we know it was put in after the mid to early 50s. I had read early 50s, but another old boy commented on there that knows a lot about the highway history and all work at Rock Mine said he thought it was more in the mid 50s. So we know that that so we know that it had to have been built after the mid 50s. There wouldn't have been a highway running into the front of it. So that kind of gives us some kind of date. So if you know something about it, I'm kind of curious. Anyhow, it was kind of neat to see it, and you could tell it is falling even on the riverside. You can see the cracks in the foundation. So how many more years it'll live, I don't know. I appreciate y'all joining me. Until next time. Kind of hang loose. Come on back. We're going to take another little trip.